Hey, what's up guys? Thanks so much for downloading the new design pack. I'm so excited uh, for all the stuff that's in here. I'm gonna be walking through the live distortion map um, template for Photoshop that I have in here, uh, just to kind of give you the best practices and show you how to get the most out of it. Um, but definitely it's something that you should play around with and explore on your own. Um, so we're gonna open it up. It's in this template folder. I already have it open. So I'll just be walking through kind of every layer step by step and what, you know, I designed it to be, um, how it's intended to be used. Um, so the basis of it is there's the distort effect um, in Photoshop where you kind of have to, uh, I think it's in distort, displace. Yeah, so it's like the displacement map. Um, and what that does is you're gonna have to like save your texture out as a separate Photoshop file. It's gonna have to be smart objects. You're gonna have to like save it every time. Um, you're not gonna be able to like edit it live. So the um, magic of this pack is that you can just go in and edit text, for example, and it's going to live apply this texture, anything that's behind it to anything that you design in it. So that's kind of like the magic of it without having to do that displacement map every time or clicking into like a different layer, um, et cetera. So going through layer by layer, the top layer I have is just like going to be this ink texture here. I set it to screen so that all the dark parts of the image are gonna have this um, ink texture applied. Uh, just cause it makes sense in this context, it's on a you know paper background so that the, the top would be ink. Um, it it will depend on, I guess, like what you're putting as the background. So maybe like if you put it on a wall, it might make sense to have some sort of paint kind of thing. You're going to want to do something darker that has like light uh, details and set it to screen for the most part. Obviously, like feel free to experiment. Um, now, the magic of the texture is in this layer right here. You're just going to double click to edit um, and you can drag anything here and it should live apply. So I'm gonna I'm gonna put one of the most like kind of like very textured uh, images just to show you like the boundaries of the pack and like or of the template and how to get the best out of it. So all you're gonna do is put the new texture. You can delete the old one if you want. Set hit save and that's gonna apply um, back on the template. As you can see here, it really scattered like the design. So that's why I included this next or this next layer down here, which is the slide for intensity. And the way this works is the darker um, you set the brightness, the less of the effect is gonna come through, the higher, the more it's gonna come through. So for example, we're putting the brightness down here and you can see the text materializes like that. Um, and so for like really intense, uh, you know, textures with like a lot of ridges and that kind of thing. You're going to want to probably do this if you want something a little bit more legible. Um, so, and as you can see, still fully editable and it will auto apply. Um, so here we have the next, the bottom file. You don't have to worry about these adjustment layer ones unless you want to get like really advanced. These are just like how the, the template kind of works, um, but you don't really need to edit anything in there. But this design uh, layer folder is important. So what I have here are two types of, um, you know, editing to the text. Uh, the inner glow is going to soften the edges and that kind of gets the, in the intensity of the effect of like, you know, that soft like ink thing. So I'm gonna turn it off. And you're gonna see it's gonna have those hard edges. So a lot less realistic in this case, but you know, there, there might be situations where you want that. Um, you can go in and adjust the size of the inner glow also in certain effect or certain cases. I kind of set it as like a, a kind of happy medium where most things will be legible and work, um, but definitely feel free. It's kind of a little bit more advanced to go in, but uh, more power to you. Um, and then I also have this toggle, the outer glow. And what that'll do is where the inner glow kind of like takes the text in, softens like inwards, um, the outer glow is going to, you know, give you that ink bleed effect. And what that's gonna be helpful for is for 
thinner text. So for example, I'll do Helvetica Neue like medium and then boom. It's a lot, it's a lot more legible obviously because that was a pretty thick font, that last one. Um, so this is a situation where you would use like the outer glow because it kind of gives it that ink bleed effect um, and makes it more legible. So for example, we'll go back to the inner glow. It's a lot harder to read, but again, you know, there's a lot of different use cases where you might want that. Um, so I'll keep outer glow for now. Um, and so, yeah, you should be able to just uh, edit text. You can put really anything in here. Let's experiment quickly with putting an image in, for example. Um, if you're gonna put an image in, I would uh, recommend getting taking off the color overlay. I just have that so that, you know, whatever designs you're putting in, if they're transparent, like if there's a transparent background, uh, it should just work. Um, but like, so for example, let's put in, I have the new Drake album cover uploaded for a TikTok that I did earlier. Um, as you can see, it's kind of hard to see, um, with images, kind of like with the texture, you're gonna wanna just like slide the brightness down to get more of it visible. Um, this is a pretty crazy texture background. So let's try something like a little bit more tame. Um, let's go into the textures. So these are some of the cool, you know, paper bleed textures we have. Just gonna delete this old one, hit save again go back to the template and then boom, you have this awesome effect on here. Let's drag it into here as well. Turning color lay overlay off. Um, and now when we mess, mess with the brightness, that has a really nice effect. So um, I haven't even played around with this template as much as I would have wanted to. Um, I'm going to like, that's kind of the beauty of it is I want to just give it to you guys to play around and do cool stuff with, but look how it blends into that back that back layer and gets you like that really really nice like it literally looks printed um definitely experiment with this and always always tag me uh in designs and stuff you make because i love seeing that and i love reposting like my favorites um but you can really do anything gosh and blur get some really really cool effects it's just, it's, it's, it's interacting with the back layer like a displacement map would, so. Um, and then as you move it, you know, it affects everything and it just happens live, which is cool. Um, you can set it to multiply too if you have like text in the back, for example. Uh, let's see the here. So, yeah, definitely, want this to be something where you're just like exploring and you know seeing the limits of what photoshop can do because this was this kind of like happened as a happy accident and i hope that it inspires happy accidents for you um thank you guys again for getting the pack and i hope this was helpful again tag me in the stuff you make with this because i'm like so so interested in like what you can do with it um it's really just like i wanted to create a sandbox for you guys to like make some cool shit so thank you again um peace